Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving deep into the world of Linux as we explore a classic rivalry, Debian vs Ubuntu. These two distributions have been stirring up discussions and debates in the open source community for years. If you're grappling with the decision of whether to go with Debian or Ubuntu for your next project or daily use, you are in for a treat. So grab your favorite mug of coffee, sit back, and let's embark on this Linux adventure. To kick things off, let's take a closer look at Debian. It's not an overstatement to say that Debian is one of the foundational pillars of the Linux world. With its origins dating back to 1993, Debian prides itself on its robustness, reliability, and unwavering commitment to open source principles. Whether you are a Linux newcomer or a seasoned command line wizard, Debian offers a diverse range of additions, including stable, testing, and unstable, to cater to your specific needs. In 2004, a new contender emerged on the scene, Ubuntu. Based on Debian, Ubuntu brought a fresh perspective to the Linux landscape. Its mission? To make Linux accessible to everyone. And it succeeded. Ubuntu's user-friendly approach, paired with its regular release cycle and comprehensive documentation, welcomed a wave of newcomers into the Linux ecosystem. Let's delve into the nitty-gritty of package management. Both Debian and Ubuntu rely on the tried-and-true, apt package manager. Debian's repositories are extensive, housing a vast collection of software tested for stability. On the other hand, Ubuntu, building on Debian's foundation, often features more up-to-date software thanks to its slightly more relaxed inclusion policies. Release Cycles, ahoy! Debian's approach is all about, when it's ready. This results in rock-solid stability but less frequent releases. Ubuntu, conversely, follows a strict six-month release cycle. While this might mean more feature updates and newer software, it could also entail a bit more risk in terms of unanticipated bugs. Installing Ubuntu is notably simpler than setting up Debian, even for intermediate Linux users. Unlike Debian's minimal ISO, Ubuntu's default ISO includes proprietary drivers and firmware, ensuring smoother hardware recognition. Debian's separate non-free ISO, containing hidden firmware, can catch users off guard. The Debian installer has an outdated look compared to Ubuntu's modern interface. Furthermore, the Ubuntu installer excels by detecting other OS installations, offering a convenient dual boot setup, a feature less prominent in Debian's installer. Now, let's talk personalization and aesthetics. Both Debian and Ubuntu offer a buffet of desktop environments, from the modern GNOME to the lightweight XFCE. Your choice here hinges on your visual preferences and the resources your system boasts. When the going gets tough, the Linux community gets going. Both Debian and Ubuntu thrive on strong and passionate communities that are eager to assist. However, Ubuntu, with its larger user base, often has a slight edge in terms of finding solutions to specific issues. Both distributions offer excellent performance specific for Linux-based systems. The difference in performance is slight and depends on the hardware and software you use. The default Debian setup that consists of the minimal pre-installed software is extremely lightweight and fast. It uses less power and provides excellent performance, even on older hardware. On the other hand, Ubuntu offers a broader range of pre-installed software and newer features, making it more resource-demanding than the basic Debian system. While users can speed up performance by uninstalling software, doing so is not recommended for inexperienced users as it may break the installation. Let's tackle the big question, where do these distributions shine? Debian's stability and emphasis on rigorous testing make it a rock star for server setups and projects that demand unwavering reliability. Ubuntu, with its emphasis on ease of use, is a perfect launchpad for newcomers, a playground for developers, and a haven for those who crave access to the latest software. Alright, tech aficionados, it's time to make a choice. Debian or Ubuntu? 
If you are a tech-savvy explorer who values stability and is willing to navigate the intricacies, Debian might be the enchanting land you seek. But if you're new to the Linux realm or seeking an equilibrium between user-friendliness and bleeding-edge software, then Ubuntu is for you. And there you have it, the Debian vs Ubuntu showdown. The beauty of Linux lies in its diversity and the choices it offers. Whether you opt for Debian's meticulousness or Ubuntu's welcoming embrace, you are in for a remarkable open source journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech deep dives, and ring that notification bell. Until next time, may your code compile without errors, and your terminals be forever filled with pseudo powers.